What's up guys, I'm Miles Gray, and your morning show starts right now. As I thought about what I was going to say, there's only one thing I would change about you, and that's your last name. Taking the class and people that Pursue your passion, even when no one else thinks you can, you can. Find different ways. Thank you. The Red Cross is hosting their fall blood drive on November 16 during both lunch periods and after school at North Point Church. This is a great way to get volunteer hours while helping support a wonderful cause. Visit Red Cross website through the first QR code for more information and use the second QR code to sign up for more updates. Congratulations to Van Emberger, Noah Alvarez, and Preston Emberger on their national win of the SDN Horror Fest Challenge. The contest was judged by the film writer Ryan Connolly. Who am I? Let me show you a bit about myself. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? Crazy, fun-loving, and spontaneous is how I live my life, and I love every second of it. And with that, I am Jamie Duffy, and I am the Morning Show. Raiders, for the first time in two years, Afro High School has a varsity competition cheer team. We have our first competition this weekend, November 7th, at South Forsyth High School. Doors open at 2.45 and we compete at 3.20. For more information on the competition and updates on our season, please follow at Afra Comp Cheer on Instagram. Hi Raiders, my name is Jessica Hayes and I will be your host for this portion of the morning show. I joined Guard in eighth grade because I really wanted a performance opportunity. I wanted to be a part of a team and my mom told me about Guard and talked to people in Guard and they all had really good feedback on it and recommended it for me. I joined the Cadet Winter Guard in eighth grade at Webridge because Christina here said it was really fun and so I decided to try it out. One of the best feelings I have is seeing people from Guard in school. And in ninth grade, it was I was so happy saying hi to people from guard during school, especially on days when like school life was just getting down and I wasn't having a good day. So getting highs for people really made my day and I still like it now. I would say the practices are pretty manageable. Like I'm in a few extracurricular activities and I feel it's only like two to three days a week and especially competitions sometimes there's, you know, on Saturday, but it's really easy and you get a lot of stuff done for the limited time, but it's really fun and I love going to practices. If you're a virtual school student, you can definitely still go to practice. I'm doing virtual school right now and I'm able to go back to school. After a day of independent study, it's definitely nice to go and be with your friends. I'm in percussion, so I do the percussive instruments. Just because I'm in band doesn't mean that I have to like give up certain things that are in guard. And being in band, I do practice and I do still do the music, but in addition to also doing guard. And people in the band in the band program are understanding. So it's not like you have to give up one to give you. We do wear masks at practice and we stay socially distant. It's also given me lots of experiences with new people that in like other grades, because I know in high school it's hard to meet kids that are in other grades unless they're in your classes. So I get to interact with like freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Our coaches are pretty well known throughout the guard community, so you get to meet a lot of different and interesting people. And you get some sort of connections for if you go into like college and stuff, you get a lot of scholarships that you can get from guard. And you just meet a lot of really cool people. Our instructors, we have a pretty strong bond with all of them, so we can just go and talk to them about whatever we want, and it's really fun to have somebody that we can turn to. My favorite memory from Guard is definitely the competitions, because you get to see all different grade levels, all different skill levels, and you get to, you know, really learn from other people, because sometimes it's hard in a small, like, group, but seeing the other groups is really amazing. 
It's a very good and happy environment. Since our guard is nationally like, nationally ranked, it feels really cool when you would go to a competition and people would come up to you and be like, I really love your show and stuff, because it's like you get recognized and it feels like you're really getting recognition for all your accomplishments and how hard you've worked. Guard has changed my life in the fact that it's given me a lot of opportunities to do things I wouldn't normally have been able to do. Like, to compete at just like a world championships for any sport is like amazing and it's given me the opportunity to do that. It's given me like basically all the friends that I have and they're friends that I wouldn't trade for anything. It's given me a lot of skills and a lot of confidence and just a lot of really good memories. It's a family. It's kind of hard to leave a family. I keep doing it because not because I love the sport, I do love the sport, but it's like, this is my home in a way. If you are interested in joining Winter Guard, auditions will be held on Tuesday, November 17th, Thursday, November 19th, Tuesday, December 1st, and Thursday, December 3rd. Auditions are from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Alpharetta High School Band Building. No experience is necessary and you will be taught everything at the audition. If you have any questions, please reach out to our guard instructor, Mr. Jenkins, at JenkinsSI at FultonSchools.org. We would love to welcome you to the family. There will be a track and field interest meeting this Monday, November 9th at 7.30 p.m. via Zoom. All interested students who would like to participate in track need to attend this meeting with a parent or guardian. To get information on fall training, fees, schedule, team expectations, COVID protocols, and dragonfly. Are you interested in a TAG internship? If so, you must complete the Hire Me TAG seminar. The seminar takes place during anchor time. Sign-ups for the spring seminar will start November 11th in Miss Hetherington's room, 4217, or you can email her. This week on Saturday, November 7th, the varsity volleyball team will be facing Walton for the state championship. As of Tuesday, November 3rd, varsity's national rank has moved up 13 places and their state rank has moved up six places. We wish you good luck for your next game. The Alpharetta varsity football team is coming off of a big win against Woodstock. Tonight we play Cherokee in our last home game. It is senior night, so make sure to come and support our seniors. Good luck, Raiders. Congrats to this week's Rich Raider winners for sharing respect, integrity, citizenship, and hard work. The winners of the free item from Chick-fil-A are Sierra Cross Thompson and Matthew Bach. The winner of the Raider mask featuring our new logo are Haley Simpson and Mark Volovo. The winner of the Dunkin' Donuts gift cards are Channing Allen and Sophia Campesi. The winner of the Raider water bottle is Anna De La Torre Estrada. Thank you to our staff for giving out their Rich Raider tickets. This week's staff winners are Students, your rewards will be delivered today. Keep up the great work and stay rich raiders. Hi, I'm Avery Pollard, and I'm really supposed to be telling you guys who I am, but to be honest, I don't know. And I feel like that's the whole point of high school is to figure out who you are. I used to think that whatever you did defined you as a person. I'm a dancer or a cheerleader or a filmmaker maybe. But now I know that it's who you are inside and what you want people to see you as is actually your true identity. As for who I am right now, I'm really into indie music and fashion, and I can also solve a Rubik's Cube in less than two minutes. My name is Avery Folly, and I am The Morning Show. My name is Jessica Hayes, and you've been watching The Morning Show.